Welcome, everyone, from the desert, bringing you Desert Faith at DesertBedrock.com. Let's begin as we begin all things holy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The following is an excerpt from the Divine Office, also known as the Liturgy of the Hours. The second reading that is taken from the Office of Readings. From a Commentary on Haggai by Saint Cyril of Alexandria. Bishop My name is great among the nations. When our Savior came, He appeared as a divine temple, glorious beyond any comparison, far more splendid and excellent than the older temple. He exceeded the old as much as worship in Christ, and the Gospels exceeds the cult of the laws, as much as truth exceeds its shadows. Furthermore, I might point out that originally there was just one temple at Jerusalem in which one people, the Israelites, offered their sacrifices. Since the only begotten Son became like us, and, as Scripture says, though he was Lord and God, he has shone upon us. The rest of the world has been filled with places of worship. With justice, therefore, do we say that the final temple, the church, will be more glorious? To those who are so solicitous for the church and labor for its construction, Haggai declares that a gift will be made, a gift from heaven given by the Savior. That gift is Christ Himself, the peace of all men. Through Him, we have access in the one Spirit to the Father. The prophet goes on to say, I will give peace to this place 
and peace of soul to save all who lay the foundation to rebuild the temple. Christ, too, says somewhere, My peace I give you. Paul will teach how profitable this is for those who love. The peace of Christ, he says, which surpasses all understanding, will keep your minds and hearts. Isaiah, the seer, made the same prayer. O Lord, our God, give us peace, for you have given us everything. Once a man has been found worthy of Christ's peace, he can easily save his soul and guide his mind to carry out exactingly the demands of virtue. Haggai, therefore, declares that peace will be given to all who build. One builds the church either as a teacher of the sacred mysteries, as one set over the house of God, or as one who works for his own good by setting himself forth as a living and spiritual stone in the holy temple, God's dwelling place in the Spirit. The results of these efforts will profit such men so that each will be able to gain his own salvation without difficulty. From the Desert With Desert Faith, this message has been delivered to you individually and collectively. Each and every syllable, word, and sentence all In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. In nomine Patris, et Fili, et Spiritus Sancti, Amen.